हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Acharya, Ashta Tarasata Sri Srimat, His Divine Grace, AC Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadha, Shri Vasa de Gaur Bhakta Vindaki, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinat, Sham Kun Radha Kun Kiri Gopadhan Ki, Vrindavan Mahapurdam Ki, Ganga Mai Yamana Mai Ki, Tulsi Maharani Bhakti Devi Ki, Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories Sri Guru, Sri Gauranga, All Glories Srila Prabhupada, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pascha Chete Shatari Hare Krishna So have you got a name for this band here? Yeah? Well, for now, it's a Bhakti Van. Bhakti Van. <laughs> so welcome all the devotees to Bhakti Van. Why are you looking at the light Bhakti Van? Means that Van is forest, is it? Van is forest. Yeah. So the forest of devotion and service. Feng Ai Fu the forest. Better than the forest of material. Enjoyment, right? Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudirayat 
Nasta Prayeshu Vapatreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtake So we are having an introduction to this project of Marichi and his good wife. They want to show us how to live a natural and simple life in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depending on nature. Right? We want to depend more on nature. Nature is better than technology. Uh People run to technology, they're looking for a comfortable life of sense gratification. But we want we want to understand Human life is not meant for just more sense gratification. Human life is meant for self-realization. And for self-realization, we have to give up depending on things like technology. Technology has made of all of us very lazy. They just want to press buttons, turn on the plug into the electricity, and press buttons for everything. <laughs> so. Krishna consciousness is meant for, we say, simple living and high thinking. But we go the other way, we have complicated living and low thinking. So people need to see an example. It's not enough for us just to preach about these things. We have to show the example. We need ourselves uh, in, in our own life, our own daily lives. We need to make life more basic and natural. And Srila Prabhupada often told us, he said, this modern civilization is doomed to failure. It will never succeed. We have to get ready for everything falling apart. The modern world, look at the condition today of the modern world. So many things have stopped. So many industries have stopped. Tourism has stopped. <laughs> many airlines have practically closed down. <laughs> People are forced to think how to how to live a more natural life. Many years ago, I remember in the 1970s, Tamal Krishna Goswami was here in India with Prabhupada and Jayadweta Swami interviewed him about Indian life. At that time, Jayadweta Swami was the editor for the Back to Godhead magazine. So he was asking Tamal Krishna Goswami about life in India. Now this is 50 years ago. 
The life was different 50 years ago. If you'd come to Mayapur 50 years ago, there was just simply the Lotus Building. There was only one building, the Lotus Building. And um, just a few years before that, there was only Prabhupada's Bhajan Kutir. You know that place when you come in the gate there in Mayapur where the Gornitai deities are? That, that, was, uh, that was where everybody lived. Everyone lived in that room. Prabhupada, Jananivas Prabhu, and Achyutananda Swami, and some other devotees. Mm. And when it, when it flooded, which it did, usually it would flood every rainy season, then everyone would live up on the roof. So, it was very simple. There were no shops out there at the gateway. I first came to Mayapur in 1975. There was one tea shop at the main gate. And some of the devotees would come to buy a tea biscuit. Tea biscuit. <laughs> that was the sense gratification. <laughs> and all the Maha went to the sannyasis, the big sannyasis. The Maha Prasadam was eaten by all the sannyasis. <laughs> <laughs> there was only a, a few sannyasis. And so it was very basic, natural, simple life. And people started to come gradually to Mayapur. And they liked it, they really liked it. It was so peaceful and natural. Rice fields everywhere. We tried to grow rice last year on the land at the Mayapur Institute. Fifty percent was eaten by the birds. <laughs> and we we lost money. <laughs> Not so easy to grow rice. Mm, we, you know, the, the rice grew to a certain point and then it just fell over. <laughs> You know, it, it looks easy, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's not so easy. The easy thing to grow, you could probably notice everywhere you see the fields yellow, that's the mustard they're growing. The fields, in the fields, the must, mustard, the mushroom? Mm, jimosa, yeah. So that's... That's easy to grow. It doesn't take much. You just...
so it's easy to grow the mustard. So and the Bengali people they love vegetables cooked with mustard oil. <laughs> Prabhupada said actually, Prabhupada said, oil is for the body and ghee is for the stomach. Uh, <laughs> Prabhupada uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, said, oil is for the body and ghee is for the stomach. <laughs> so the, the Bengali people, they, they like the, the oil they like the most is the mustard oil. So <laughs> the Easy to grow. Easy to harvest. And you can see also here. Many banana trees. They're also easy to grow. Put them in the ground, you know, and you don't have to take much care of them, they grow. You put one in, and then another one comes up by the side of it, and then another one. And then the whole, all the land becomes covered with the banana trees. And there's, there's many things to eat from the banana tree. You can eat the banana fruit. You can eat the banana flower. Yeah. And you can eat the, the, the stalk of the banana tree. <laughs> and you can eat your food off the banana leaf. Mm, the boys in the Gurukula, they eat every day from a banana leaf. Mm. <laughs> there's a special layer on the banana leaf that you know there's two sides you have to put the the shiny side upper you look there's two sides one side is dull that goes below and the shiny side up and you know a little water to clean it and then you put your food on it and when you eat the food you get some magic layer which is on the banana leaf it's very good, very healthy. Sometimes people from the West, they bring their family members here to Mayapur. And when the family members come and they give them food from a banana leaf, they're like, oh. <laughs> you know, they've never, they've never had the experience of eating from a banana leaf. <laughs> but it's very, very healthy, very good way to eat your food. And you can see how many banana trees are here. You can eat a lot of plates of prasadam. <laughs> so that's simple living. You know, you have a banana leaf, and after you take the banana, you can just, it, it's not a, a problem. There's no problem for litter with banana leaves. But if you bring a plastic plate and plastic spoon and plastic cups and so many pieces of plastic everywhere, they don't degrade, they don't break down, they don't go back to the land, you know? Yeah. 
他到他那里这个对大自然这个图来说，他没法回收，也不是很自然的。You go into the countryside, you go in the small villages now. Oh, you see everywhere plastic pieces of plastic everywhere. 你看到哪个村里现在这个香剂不塑料的生意都蒸蒸日上，到处村里都有做这种像塑料制品。And it'll take many years to ever get to to go away. 需要很多很多年才能消化这些这些塑料制制品。But when we use nature's resources, it's much. Nicer, and there's no problems for the environment. So we in Mayapur, the shops in Mayapur are not supposed to use plastic. When they sell goods, they're not supposed to give you any of the goods you purchase in a plastic bag. No. No. 在玛雅坡，他一般卖这种食物呃这个物品的话，他们都一般不是给你这种，不可以给你给你这种塑料塑料袋儿，嗯，他不会给你这塑料袋儿。嗯 ，They're not supposed to。不应该不应该给塑料袋儿。你买东西不应该。It's a law in Mayapur by the Mayapur Management Committee. The the people who run Mayapur they ordered. No plastic bags in Mayapur. The Mayapur Management Committee has ordered that when selling food, you don't give plastic bags to others. And they have these kind of cloth bags which they give. That kind of cloth bags, they give them with cloth bags. These are no problem for environment. Because these cloth bags, ah, for the environment, they are not a problem. These are no problem for environment. Because these cloth bags, ah, for the environment, they are not a problem. These are no problem for environment. Because these cloth bags, ah, for the environment, they are not a problem. These are no problem for environment. Because these cloth bags, ah, for the environment, they are not a problem. These are no problem for Everything's in plastic bottles of water in plastic bottles. You see, that bottle, that water, the water is all plastic. And then they have these. Sometimes they have these aluminium foil plates. What do you mean? Aluminium. It's like a metal covering. That kind of 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 metal covering. And they have also the 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 totos, the, the rickshaws. They have they're 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 using petrol. But in Mayapur, we don't allow any petrol vehicles. They have to use vehicles which are charged. Now, now, you see this car, ah, all use petrol. You see, Mayapur, they say, "Even only use this kind of petrol vehicle." We just, they just, we want to keep the air free of pollution in Mayapur. We want to make Mayapur a nice, clean city. We want to make Mayapur a nice, clean city. We want to try to make Mayapur a nice, hygienic environment, which is different from the rest of India. We want to make Mayapur and other countries different. We want to create a clean city. We go to Calcutta. So much traffic. So much pollution. Air pollution, noise pollution, everything. You see, you see, to Jaipur, there are so many pollution, noise pollution, noise pollution, everything. But we want to keep Mayapur nice and clean, and pure, and healthy, and natural. We want to make Mayapur become healthy, clean, and pure. So our living has to be also like that. We have to live also naturally and simply. 我们要也要使我们的生活变得自然和健康。We we cannot depend on everybody else to grow our food for us. 我们不能依靠别人为我们种食物，给我们食物。And you cannot depend on others to build your apartments for you. 我们不能为为了让别人为你建一座楼。Yeah, you have your apartment. If there's no electricity one day, you're going to be in trouble. We want to live without depending on other people for survival. We should be able to live with the gifts of nature. Prabhupada said, "We should even we may have to make our own paper in the future." Prabhupada said, "Even we may have to make our own paper in the future." Prabhupada said, "Even we may have to make our own paper in the future." Prabhupada said, "Even we may have to make our own paper in the future." Prabhupada said, "Even we may have to make our own paper in the future."
paper， 嗯、yeah, ，纸，纸，纸张，我们也要将来为我们自己做，我们自己做。You may not, you may not be able to get books in the future if there's no paper. 如果没有纸纸纸张的话，将来也没有书。We have to produce our own paper. 我们自己要找那种制造纸。The Goswamis, 500 years ago, in the times of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they wrote the books. They wrote them on palm leaves. 在彩参家那年代，那个哥斯拉们们写字都写在那个棕榈叶叶上。We get our palm leaves. We get some palm leaves, right? Our notes on. We're depending so much on technology. We have our mobile phones. We have computers. 我们现在过度的依靠这种高科技，什么手机呀、啊、电脑啊。Without these things, oh, what will we do? How will we ever live? 如果没有这些，我们会想，哎呀，我们怎么活呀？没这些，我们怎么玩啊 ？And nowadays, also, what do you, you want to buy something? You go online and you find it online, and oh yes, I order this and tell them to bring it here. 啊，现在购物都在网上购物啊，网上有我喜欢的，快给我送货上门。Right, I want this thing. Though it's not here in India, we have to get it from China. We get it from America. 哦，印度如果没有，我们可以从中国来，从美国进口，给我送过来。That is not simple living. This is not simple living. We want to de just depend on what's provided by nature. So we want to live our lives on the nature. We see some of the devotees in the Guru Kul wooden shoes. You see, the Guru Kul people have these wooden shoes. Yeah, wooden shoes. They all wear wooden shoes. In Prabhupada, in Prabhupada's time, we were making the cloth in Mayapur. The ladies' saris, the men's dhotis and kurtas, everything was made in Mayapur. Oh, in Prabhupada's time, that Mahaji, that sari, that dhoti, that kurta, 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 k 有个孟加拉的女士，她会做，她就按那种纺纺织，啊，用用手工，手工做。Very nice cloth， 衣服做的可漂亮了，老好了。Simple, cool to wear in the hot weather, very cool. 呃、uh, ，很简单，呃，不管是严寒酷酷暑，它都可以做。But today everything is all chemical, everything chemical. 你看，现在我们穿都是化学品<笑>组合。We're we're so attached to technology, using technology. 我们太依恋依附高科技了。This chair. 看那椅子。Technology. 高科技的产物。Everything was just made by hand in the past. 过去呀，做啥东西都是手工制品。The man would come with the hammer and the chisel and some wood and he'd make a chair. 你看那个以前人们拿个锤子，那拿木头就可以造这个椅椅椅子。Just like the deity altar. 就像这个神像那个神坛。They would make by hand everything. 一切都是手工制品。Nice. Simple living. Very good. This kind of simple life. Maharishi showed me the gate. We entered the, the day we opened the rib, cut the ribbon to enter the gate. New gate was put up. We just now, Maharishi showed me the gate. We opened the rib, cut the ribbon to enter the gate. New gate was put up. We just now, Maharishi showed me the gate. We opened the rib, cut the ribbon to enter the gate. New gate was put up. We just now, Maharishi showed me the gate. We opened the rib, cut the ribbon to enter the gate. New gate was put up. Right. And, and there's some devotees. We have nice devotees. His Holiness Bhakti Raghava Swami. He tells his disciples. He said, "You want me to come to your house?" He said, "I will come, but I will only eat what you grow." Oh, that Swami, right? Bhakti Raghava Swami. Bhakti Raghava Swami told him, "If you want me to invite you to your house, I have only one condition: I must eat your own grain. 你自己生产的东西，我必须吃你自生产的粮食。If you didn't grow it, I don't want it. 如果你没有生产粮食，我可不想去你家。That's how it should be. That should be the standard. 这就应该是一个标准。
Prabhupada like to see devotees grow food, grow their own food for themselves. So here in Mayapur, it's a wonderful place. This is a Ganga Basin. The, the, we're near to the river Ganges, so all the land is very fertile. So the land is very good to grow things. You could feed the whole world on this, this land in Bengal. Very nice land, very easy flat land, and you can plant, you can grow things two, three times a year. You have water from the Ganga, you have no problem for water. And you can feed the cows, you have nice grass growing for the cows. Yeah. We need cows, and the cow should be giving milk. We don't just keep cows for people to look at. People come and see the cows and they feed the cows. And the cows don't give any milk. <laughs> what is it good to keep the cow if it doesn't give milk? Why? Why? There's no point to have a cow. Of course, you can get the cow dung. Mm. Cow dung is a fuel, valuable fuel. And it's also good for fertilizer for the soil. And it's also antiseptic, so it has many medicinal qualities. But the most important quality of the cow is milk. And the bull is meant to be used for plowing the fields. We see people, they, they brought their tractors and machinery instead of the bull. So Prabhupada, he, he, he didn't like to see us depend on all the machinery. He said that in the future, you may not get petrol to run these machines. If there's no petrol, what good is your machines? So I was telling Jayadweda Swami, interviewed Tamal Krishna Goswami about life in India. And he was asking about how people live. How do people live here in India? And he explained that people work the land. This India is a rural country. It's based on agriculture. We live off the land. Uh, you grow some vegetables and you plant trees and you get fruits and you get flowers. Everything grows by the gifts of nature. And we have the cows to give the milk and the bulls to plow the field. Tamal Krishna Goswami said, you cannot eat nuts and bolts. Do you know nuts and bolts? Do you know screws? This nuts and bolts. Where is this? Oh, no, loss. Hmm. Tamal Krishna Goswami, you cannot use the nuts and bolts to eat. You cannot eat nuts and bolts. 
So what is the good of all these factories? The factories don't produce any food. How many food people can you feed from the factory? The most important thing is to have food. And so we get food from the land, we work the land, we plant seeds and we cultivate the crops. That is the most pious profession. But in modern society, people are so polluted and contaminated by materialistic life, they look down on people who farm. Now if you tell someone, I'm a farmer, they say, oh, you're a simple farmer. But if you tell someone you work in a big company, oh, people are so foolish, they're so blind, they don't see what is actually the proper way to live in this world. So Prabhupada encouraged all the householders especially that they should have some land and they should have some cup, they should have a cow and they should grow their food. They grow their food. You go to Russia. You go to China, you see everywhere people have got some land. They've got some land to grow their food. That means they go in the fields and they work. Now in Mayapur, more and more devotees are becoming inspired to cultivate the land. And so Marichi Prabhu and his wife, they have taken this land and you can see they're cultivating different crops and many banana trees. They have their own apartment in the Mayapur, but they prefer to be here. And they're building a house. This is going to be the home. This right, the, the wall. Made from mud. No, no cement. No cement, no steel. Just mud. Very nice, natural, simple. And nearby is Jalangi. Yeah. So a lot of water is available. Hmm. You can live here very natural, peacefully, chant Hare Krishna. And grow some simple vegetables and fruits. And provide for one's own basic needs, very natural. So we encourage all devotees, you try also like this, you think about how to simplify our life.
we want to be more in the mode of goodness. We say you live in the city, that's a place of passion. But live in the countryside, it's a mode of goodness. Of course, not everybody in the countryside lives in the mode of goodness. But we need to show people how to live in the mode of goodness. Growing vegetables and fruits and offering them to Krishna. Prabhupada said, we should grow our own grains. We shouldn't have to just go to the supermarket and buy things. Yeah. People, what, nowadays, what do people do? When they go shopping, go to the supermarket, they buy their rice, they buy their fruits, they buy their vegetables in the big supermarkets. They don't, they, they don't grow anything. And it's all polluted with so many chemicals. It's all unnatural. Things. So we want people to think more about how to live a natural lifestyle. Depending on Krishna. And our own hard work as well. Right? We can't be lazy. You come and live in the countryside, you're going to have land. You have to be willing to go out there into the land every day and do some work. But it's a, that's a very healthy life. You think working in a big office in a multinational company in a big multi-story building with air conditioning and light, artificial lighting, is that healthy lifestyle? Or you sit in a nice big car with your AC on and you're driving your car. Is that nice healthy life? You want healthy life? Here it is. Go out in the fields and do some farming, do some agricultural work. And, and take care of the cows. It's also very, very important. Right? Lord Balaram is Halada. He carries the plow. Plow is meant for farming work. And Lord Krishna, he's Murli Dar, he's playing the flute. Calling the cows. So, Krishigo Rakshavaninam Vaishya Karma Swabhava Jam. The duty of the Vaishya is this Krishigo Raksha to do the farming and the cow protection. Yes, what's your problem? Play the flute. It's called a uh, cow, not called a bull. Yeah. I said the, the cow gives the milk, and the bull plows the field. Krishna takes the cows to the fields to eat grass. Uh, 
the bulls, they're working in the fields, pulling the plow. Pull the plow. But the cows, they just go to the forest and they eat grass. And they drink, they drink water. And then they come back. And they give a lot of milk. <laughs> They're very happy. Mm, just, just like women. Women not supposed to go to work. They're not supposed to go to factories. They're supposed to be in the home. Mm, do the cooking and cleaning. Yeah. China, the whole world, every, the women all working, even in India now the women are also working. Women are not supposed to work, they're supposed to be at home. So, this is the Vedic lifestyle, living off the land. Everything is provided for our needs. We need some food, we need some cloth, we need a place to live. Prabhupada used to be a follower of Mahatma Gandhi. So Gandhi, he, he had many people came to join him. He had a movement and he had many people who joined him. And nobody was paid. Every, everybody was given roti, Capre and Mokan. Roti. Roti. Mean bao. Mean bao. Bread, right? Chapati. Chapati. Capre. Cloth. This is capre. 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 Cloth. Right? And then Mokan. Mokan. A house. This mud house. Mud. We don't need to live in a palace. We Dangy dang, dangy dang, she has she jen, I may guy how. He's asking where's the roof. <laughs> he said, in mud hut, they don't have a roof. <laughs> okay. So, Krishna consciousness, this Mayapur Dam, there's a lot of people coming to live here in Mayapur. More and more people want to come and live here. Is it only for the rich to live in Mayapur? Of course, some people who come and live in Mayapur are very rich. But that's not the purpose of Mayapur, just to attract only rich people. It's meant for people to come and live a natural life. Community here. We want everyone to feel that this is a, a nice place for people to live and to work together. Uh, 
Not just for people with a lot of money to live here, to retire here. No, it's meant for people to cultivate Krishna consciousness by living simply, naturally, depending on nature. Growing lots of nice vegetables and fruits. So there's so much land we're not cultivating. We should be willing to go out there every day, to put in a few hours every day, go on the land and do some farming, do some agriculture work. And you can solve all the problems of the world by living a more simple, natural life. If we just if we take shelter only of money, our economic situation, that will not protect us. But if we take shelter of Krishna through his gifts in of the in this world, the gifts of nature, that will give us real shelter. There's so much bamboo. You can build nice bamboo houses. We don't need to be we don't need to live in luxury. Air conditioning, televisions, so many unnatural things. We want to just simply de depend on Krishna. So chanting Hare Krishna and doing some simple work for Krishna, working on the land, that will purify us. If you spend every day a few hours working on the land, it's very good for the health. We can see in China, so many people work in the fields, they're there 80 years old, they're, they're still in the fields working. But in the West, or we see people in the cities, the, as soon as they get 40 or 50, they can't even sit on the ground, you know, they can't bend their legs, they go, oh, I'm so stiff, oh. Can hardly walk. So who's better off? So we prefer the natural life. It may be simple, but it's natural and we feel more peaceful and satisfied. Okay, any questions? Prabhu, we have our Minister, minister of Agriculture here. Oh, yeah. We want to also welcome Kalakanta Prabhu from Brazil. He's the, uh, the ISCON Minister of Agriculture. Minister of Agriculture. This is a Minister of Agriculture and Cow Protection. Cow Protection. 
高跑，高跑母牛，保护母牛管理委员会的头，两个委员会的头。So this is a great honor that he is here today. 我们非常感到荣幸，他今天能够光顾这里。With his wife and his daughter. 还有他他的妻子和他的女儿。阿里波，阿里波。Maybe one day we can invite him. To give some lecture also to the Chinese devotees, he will be here for a few for three months. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, he has a plan. Hmm. He has a plan. In the future, three months. Hmm. He is preparing for three months. 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 <laughs> so it's so that, uh, the the I really wanted. What really wanted. We need the leaders and teachers to to take this lifestyle. Oh, we 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 And I thought the only way is to do this to show the experience. So, 有一个方法是让大家来到这里来体验到这个美好的时光，来体验一下。When it's a hot summer, this wall is going to be so cool that everybody is going to notice the difference. 到这里来以后，这个这里的空气送送爽，大家的体验就不就不一样了。And then this. The space that he can experience, the feeling of space, and fruits and vegetables. This air, air, and vegetables, all kinds of things, have that feeling of personal experience. So you have said everything in this beautiful lecture, and I'm very grateful for that. So 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 I'm very No, that's all. Before, 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 get time, time the friends, the minister. Ah, he said, Mara, if you are willing, then come to our meeting to give us a lecture. Come, welcome you to our meeting. Come, come a lecture. Because we we believe in the leaders need to be listened to. Because we we believe that the leaders need to listen to. Because we we believe that the leaders need to listen to. Because we we believe that the leaders need to listen to. Because we we believe that the leaders need to listen to. All right, we have to show the example. It's not enough just to speak about it. I went to the Gaudiya Math Temple. I was in one of the Gaudiya Math Temples, and I saw all the brahmacharis were out there on the in the garden. They were doing all the gardening, the weeding, and everything. Oh, I went to the Gaudiya Temple. I saw all the brahmacharis were out there on the in the garden. They were doing all the gardening, the weeding, and everything. Oh, I went to the Gaudiya Temple. Yeah, brahmacharis. But we we don't get our brahmacharis to go out too much to do that. We can't let these brahmacharis do so much work. They all want to just be behind the counter, take the money, sell the goods. Just let them do. Some in the shop eat, but don't see. These brahmacharis in the shop selling goods, they don't come out to make money. I want to mention there is uh, Chintamani. Actually, she is building this house with her own hands. Jai! Thank you. 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 With Chinese 
And if anybody would like to come and experience um, natural building and understand how everything works, they are very welcome. Anytime. 非常欢迎大家来这里体验自然的生活，这个房子怎么自然建起来的，等等等等，欢迎大家来来来看去体验。Chintamani Peshungor, Tachansa Ega Kershansa, Indu Nanbu Peshungor, Tata Yeke Johnny. Chintamani went to South India to learn all this, so I think she could, they can, she can teach them. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. I also, of course, want to thank Maharaj for coming. Because <laughs> this is a great blessing that we can celebrate the new year coming this 2022 together. <laughs> And all uh, the Chinese devotees, very, very Kashyadev devotees. Kashyadev. <laughs> Kashyadev devotees, very good heart. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> great blessing for us. <laughs> people, some people may think, oh, this is going back. This is not progress. This is degradation. We're if, if we had a big multi-story uh, condominium, we think, oh, this is progress. This is very good. <laughs> Your condo, the guy like Gauji, the... Using so many uh, milk products, but like Maharaj was saying, back to Raghavan Maharaj, he won't eat uh, some vegetables if it's not grown by the devotees. I feel the same, similar as devotees, we need to be sincere to don't drink the milk if we don't protect the cow. Because uh, what we're doing now, we are uh, exploiting the, our cow so much. It's all about business, everybody selling ghee butter, everybody selling uh, all these milk products and paneer, we're having all this luxury without protecting the cow. And I feel this is uh, not correct. We should maybe from our leaders give this direction. We're not protecting the cow. We don't have the right to like, eat so many milk products, right? If it's offered 10 cents, we can offer one, but we need to be sure the baby cows is nourished. That's what I got. Raghavan Swami said to his Mentor, if you don't have a milk milk, I'll eat it. Especially this milk milk milk. We think it's too much. You use the milk 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 Rugovamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamam
they've taken to the vegan diet unless it's the ahimsa milk, unless the milk comes from our own protected cows, they won't take any of the milk products. <laughs> And Jayadweda Swami, he came up with a policy, he said that because he drinks milk, he likes to have a glass of milk, he says that he will give money for cow protection. Jayadweda Swami Tazuji Zojiya, he gives it on it. Because he drinks milk, so he will give according to the quantity, of how much milk he drinks, he will give that much money in to cow protection projects. Because they do need help to do these things. Mm, it's not so easy, you know. You maintaining cows. And, they need grass, and sometimes you, if you don't have enough land, then it's very difficult. How much land do you need actually, do you think, for, for cows? If you produce everything for the cow, it's almost like two acres per cow. Per cow, two acres. Two acres, right? So if you have a cow, you have to have two acres. Two acres, so you can have two acres. But of course, a lot of that two acres could be corn, millet. You take the grain, the cow takes the stock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can grow crops on the land. You can... mm, like corn, and the different and we take, you take the corn and you give the stock the plant the cow eats the plant you see the cow will eat the plant and you take the corn you take the cob you know, that's for cooking and the plant that's what the cow eats what what that mean you eat the cow for car we eat the cow we eat the cow we eat the cow we Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have kirtan for 15 minutes. And then we'll have Prasada. Srila Prabhupada Ki. So, the kirtan we're going to do here, okay? This is actually this Lord Jagannath Paladevan 